And they've got a two-point lead, which in the context of this, a shorter set is a potentially match-defining lead. And Sov, who's been so key in this. Tanisov with the crucial intervention. 4 2. Osipov to serve. Selzer with the spike. Fourth Street. And for a place at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics after both these teams comfortably saw off Egypt and Puerto Rico. Bulgaria did actually lose the first set against Egypt on right here after me, but came back to win 3 1. And from that, all the other victories, both these two were in straight sets. Swings again for all. And these two have actually been at the Olympics. It's Bulgaria with the stronger record. Three wins from four. Three no wins in 1964, 68 and 1996. Brazil won 3-1 in 1988, but it's all in the distant past now. Most recent of those matches 23 years ago. This is a true epic. Maybe remembered as one of the best ever head-to-heads between these two, if not the best of their 48 encounters. Flies long. Both teams serving hasn't been their strength today. And it serves drifting long. And now it's Seganov's turn. of the six qualification tournaments going on across the world. And a big block. Frustration for the Bulgarian Libor Salparov. It's Brazil with the narrow lead. It's Brazil who look more positive, more upbeat. And they've got to the halfway house in this deciding set. First of 15, remember. They are 8-6 up. And being 4-2 down. Closer now, Brazil. And I'm certainly not partisan, entirely neutral as a commentator, but Brazil do win this. Look at the frustration for Andy Silvano. And the disappointment of mine is that we won't have heard the roof come off this place if and when Bulgaria were to seal victory against the current Olympic champions. And the senses that the thousands watching would slip away far more quietly if Brazil sealed it up. Holding their boys off the court. Well, it's a block at the net, but doesn't fall into the right place for Brazil. That just keeps Bulgaria in touch. It's a long way back from 10 6, particularly when it's first to 15. to serve.
spike is good though. That's not what the home fans wanted. Brazil four points away from ruining the fun. Brazil now closing in on a truly extraordinary win. Well, they've pulled it back. Brazil could have stretched four clear, but Bulgaria pulled it back to a two point gap. The block unsuccessful. Chev to serve the WS, the wing spiker. This is Club Volley Ball with SESK. And we need the 24 year old to deliver something. It's not a bad serve. But the block doesn't work. And Brazil are two points away. One of the best and most dramatic matches of volleyball I can honestly say I've ever seen might well be drawing to a conclusion. Well, it's the pancake that does it. Keeps Bulgaria alive. It's the pancake that sealed up the second set for them from Saganov. Blockers anticipating a spike that never came. And it was Saganov once more with the cheeky pancake here. Very nice stuff. That closes the gap. Still Brazil's to lose though from this position. and change their lineup, Brazil, and in the last four, fourth and fifth sets, I should say, they should find a combination that's worked somewhat better. Not a great serve, and it is match point Brazil, multiple match points for Brazil. Well, the booze evident here. Have Brazil come back from the abyss? A Lazarus like recovery from the men in yellow. Match point Brazil. Here we go then. It's long. No flick, no touch, and Brazil have done it. Brazil have qualified for Tokyo. They had to save a match point in the third set. They came back to win that 32-30, and then have won it in five, if this challenge is successful. It wouldn't be this match if it finished in a simple way, would it, folks? It just hasn't been that kind of match of volleyball. Challenge from Bulgaria. Is there one last twist in the tail? Brazil think they've done it. They're already celebrating.
Here we go. No fault confirmed, and Brazil have a place at the Tokyo Olympics. The world number one side, the defending Olympic champions, were down and so nearly out here in Barna against.